Welcome to the Recreating You game. This is a live course that we delivered between 2018 and 2020. We've now gone on to do a new program that we love called the Smart Soul Experience. But I wanted to put this out there onto YouTube because we had thousands of people that had extraordinary results and I think it's just an amazing program. So I wanted to give it to you guys for free. So here's the deal. Please bring a friend. This is way more fun to do with someone else. Do the days in order. It's supposed to be done day one through day 12. There's a reason for that. It builds on itself. Have a great time and you're going to have amazing ahas about your inner experience. This will cure, yes, cure stress, anxiety, worry, fear, and overwhelm in your life, as well as giving you direction on the next right thing for you to do in every moment. Have a great time. Enjoy the program. Here we go. It's day 11, day 11. How was irritation and frustration for you? Those are hard ones, okay? Those are some entrenched experiences that you that we get ourselves into and we're super convinced and when it happens, it kind of usually broadside us and we get hijacked and all of our yellow yield signs are there and uh, you know, it's it, they're rough. So just, you're not gonna master them in one day. This game was meant to give you a taste, a smattering of a bunch of different things that you can use your IGS for, but there's a lot more. I've been doing this for 23 years and like I have programs that lead you through extraordinary experiences in leadership and clearing out old beliefs patterns and using your IGS and becoming masterful in this really. So please don't beat yourself up if you don't have those two down immediately, okay? It's just gonna take time and 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 it, it I work with people for like weeks on those two and more. Just know that. And then the other thing is, is between the ages of zero and seven, we have these things that get programmed into us. I call them your stress themes and your stress defenses. So you'll have a theme that always stresses you out. Like for my, for me, one of mine was people talking behind my back. I, my mom had this thing about people talking behind her back and the neighbors and different things. And I grew up hearing that. And so it became this fear I had and this thing. And so I could, if I saw two people talking, I, my mind said, they're talking about you and it's not good. And it would be causes closing stress sensation that I would be in. And then my defense, which is what we all have stress themes and we all have stress defenses. My defense was to be like, all. Oh, mm, I'm few, you know, I'm, I'm going to not like you before you don't like me. And I'd throw attitude, which didn't help the situation, stupid stress defense. But that's what my mom did. She just pushed other people away and isolated. And it's a protective mechanism. Well, we have tons of these. We have themes around money and our body and our beauty and all of these different things and our kids and just stuff, you know, all kinds of health issues. And it's it, their themes and their programs. And you can get rid of them and reprogram your neural pathway. But it's not, it's not something that is simple to do because it, you go unconscious. You, you believe it. It's like a yield sign. You, you end up not seeing it right away. It takes a while. I've had my stress themes to where I'll go three or four weeks and wake up all of a sudden and realize I've been closed, ruminating on this and closed. So it means it's not true for weeks. I learned how to do this by myself. I decoded this by myself. You at least have me and all this, all these practices that get you at it in different angles and things. So just, I want you to know that when you have these, these embedded themes and these embedded defenses, it can be challenging because you, you, you don't see them, they're yield signs, right? And it's important to uncover them because that's your little alarm bell. You're like, whoop, ding, 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 ding. The people talking behind my back one is my thing. That means I'm probably closed, let's check. I am closed. They're not talking about me. And then the new neural pathway starts. I had to work that one for a while. Now I don't have that anymore. It's actually amazing. I had a couple situations come where I, I didn't even think about it. Didn't even bother me. It was amazing. I woke up to it later going, wow, I didn't feel that anymore. I didn't have that experience. Today, we're going to talk about your mirror again. We talked a little bit in about mirrors yesterday when I was giving you kind of a tune up on what, what what was a challenge about the practice yesterday and in being triggered by your mirror. And so I believe that the world around us is a mirror and that things that are in our mirror are a reflection of our soul. And you don't see everything in the world. Like, so you, you know, have you ever walked down a busy street and you, you, there's people that are passing you 
and you don't even see them. You know, I mean, they don't see them at all, right? They're just like ghosts. But there'll be one person that comes in to view and you'll be like, and you see them. I think of these people as being like in my mirror. They're, they're similar to me. They're like a reflection of um, our soul, our, our truest heart's desire and soul. And that's why we can see them. I was once hanging out with a friend who had experienced a drug addiction um, and we're driving around and they're, they're like, oh, that person's scoring drugs and that person's and this. And I was like in the same city that I've been living in for taking a whole nother view of it going, I wasn't seeing any of them. And when that person left, I still did. I didn't see them. Like I, I, it's not my thing. And, and it's, you know, an engineer sees things a certain way and an artist sees things in a certain way. And we, I do believe we're all living in our own mini microcosm and what's bringing that to us is I do believe the law of attraction and I don't believe it in some woo woo way that I'm going to sit in a recliner and get a Ferrari. I mean it as we, we don't, we, we have yield signs. We have blind spots. And the law of attraction is really in the mirror, seeing the world around you as a reflection of who you are as a mirror is so that we can see who we are deep inside and have choice. Say, yes, I want that or no, I don't. And so we often talk about mirrors as a things that are wrong with us. Somebody comes into our life and they're, they're, you know, not that pleasant and we see them and we're like, Ooh, this is a mirror. How can I see this person and make a different choice? Or how is this what I, what I'm seeing me, part of me, but also there's a whole nother part. Not everything in the mirror is ugly. Often a lot of things in the mirror are beautiful. Nature, people, acts of kindness, chivalry, courage, valor. There's all kinds of things that warm your heart that you see as beautiful. Now, sometimes if you can't own that beauty, it become, it looks like envy or jealousy. Not so much jealousy, but more envy. You want what that person has. A beautiful home or car or relationship or body or children or whatever it is there's an envy be a better mom better dad you know you see somebody being a great mom or dad and you're like oh I wish I was more like that I wish I was better at this everything that you envy is a beautiful aspect of yourself that you're not owning I'll say that again everything that you are envious of is a beautiful aspect or a skill that you have that you have not developed or that you're not owning. And all the beauty in the world around you is a reflection of you as well. And so your practice for day 11 is to witness the beauty in the world around you and the things you admire and the things you envy and say, I am that. That is me too. I am that. Wow. And this can be a hard one. People often say it's a hard one for them. So. Your play of the day is to witness everything that you find beautiful as I am that too. Okay? You might want to write it out too. I love it when people do a little journal of all the things they've seen that are beautiful and are like blown away. Things and people and situations and skills. I am that. I am that. Wow. So I'm sending you love and blessings. Go forth and discover who you are on the beauty side. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you so much for doing the Recreating You game. I hope you're having extraordinary ahas already. People have from day one. And so no matter where you are in the game, there's amazing things that you're learning about yourself and the power that lies within you. If you would like to have your questions answered, please put them in the comments below. We do our best to get back to comments or so does our, our members <laughs> and our students. They love to go ahead and, and support people in learning to use their IGS. You are welcome to email us at support at smartsoul.com to get more deep into the programs. Or you can go to smartsoulacademy.com if you already know you want to jump in and learn how to master this extraordinary thing that you were born with, your internal guidance system. There you'll find 16 programs that lead you through all areas of your life and weekly group coaching with me so that we can work on your specific issues and supporting you and getting aligned with your purpose, your prosperity, and peace. That's smartsoulacademy.com and it's all available to you for $25 a month. I know, amazing. You can afford this less than Starbucks each week. Come check it out. SmartSoulAcademy.com.